Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we get to open a package. So this came over the weekend when I was, uh, you know, up in College Station, but we got this package from David Pitt's Pixel Controller. So what could it be? So <clears throat> was suffering and worried that wouldn't be able to get enough Falcons this year. But David Pitt posted last week that he had a bunch limit five per customer, which means he probably had quite a few. But you know, you never he probably doesn't know when his chips are actually gonna make it or if they're gonna make it. So he probably got a batch. Whoops, bumped the camera. And uh he punched a bunch out. So here we are. So got the postal box. I don't know if I've ever opened up one of these without ripping it. Nope. Today is not the day. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Okay. Everything is in electrostatic bags. Ooh, look, the heat will reseal. See if I can preserve the resealable bags. I'm not very good with this with food, and my wife is always really pissed off that I opened up the bag wrong. Okay. But a resealable electrostatic bag is actually kind of useful on its own. I think I got it. Come on. Come on. How did I do it? Like the paper chips. There we go. Okay, slide it out. We got foam on the bottom, foam on the top. Pull it off to reveal. Ta da! Falcon Christmas. And we got this little piece over the SD card reader. This, my friends, is, in my opinion, the pinnacle of pixel technology. This is the Falcon F16 V4 Pixel Controller. And it's, uh, of course, it's blue. We're back to blue. I think they started off blue. And the V3s were white. The V2s were red. And I believe the originals were blue. I'd have to go pull one out. But anyway, um, it's a beautiful board. Um, very similar to the F16 V3. One significant difference is that on this board... You when you have two expansion slots, right? And that's what this 24 pin cable is for. And you can expand this with two expansion boards. And guess what? I have an expansion board right here. So also part of this order is expansion board because with the controller shortage, one of my strategies this year is to just get more out of my existing controllers. Okay, see, so here is an expansion board. You can see uh, that the expansion board looks a lot like the lower half of the F16 pixel board. Okay, basically it has, you know, all of the four pin Phoenix connectors, which most of us only use the three pins. It has the two power connections, V1 and V2. And then it has, you know, a bunch of the 5 amp fuses for uh, for all the ports. Okay. So, uh, very, very similar. And then what you do is you have this 24 pin ribbon cable, right, which only fits one way. There's a little notch in the header and you plug it in there and then you plug it the other side in to one of these two expansion slots here and here on the Falcon. So, with two expansion boards, you have 16 ports on the main board, then you have 16 ports on the expansion, and another 16 ports on a second expansion. So you could have 48, 48 ports. And I wasn't planning on doing this, but right here, move my sweatshirts, that's what this project I'm working on here is, is exactly that, right? So this is a 48 port controller. Now this is where having 
put this back in the tripod. This is where having an F16 V4 is really useful because on the V3s, <clears throat> there was a maximum number of ports for the entire board. And you had to use a slider board to say how you're gonna allocate these. So when you say I'm adding more ports, then you were reducing the number of pixels by per port, and in some cases, pretty significantly. So, but with the Falcon F16, you can do the maximum thousand whatever pixels per port. Now I don't come close to using a thousand pixels, but I do like to use up to about 600 pixels per port. Now an argument for using less pixels per port, and one of the reasons why I'm going with the higher density controllers, one argument is, is you don't have to do power injection. Now I'm, I'm cool with power injection, that doesn't bother me, and I actually plan to keep using power injection. But the other reason is if you have 600 pixels on a port, and pixel number two goes bad, then pixel number two, all the way through pixel 600, are out, right? So, um, you know, your the, the, the chance of a catastrophic problem is a lot higher. And in my case, if these are high up on the roof, then I, I have a real problem. So, the, uh, so if you use 300 pixels per port, then your chances are less, right? So anyway, that's one reason why I'm I'm looking to to do less um, pixels per port. But the the Falcon can 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 use the maximum pixels per port, which is um, which is really nice. Of course, now we got this little tradition here. You see this? You got the little flappy. Any electronics today come with these little plastic covers, and you peel them off, and it's like a full on endorphin rush. So get ready. Here it comes. Here it comes. So I'm going to pull this piece of plastic off the OLED screen. And I go, oh, yeah, that was, okay, that was good. Okay, up here we have the dual Ethernet ports. Each one works independently. Uh, so you can actually daisy chain these. It kind of works like a hub. There's the uh, the chip that's hard to get, that ARM chip. And of course, here we have the, uh, the SD card reader. Um, here you have a switch that says where you're going to get the power from, okay? Well, no, this one says if it's going to be 5 volts, it's to the right. And if it's uh, 12 volts or 7 to 13 volts, it's to the left. The thing that bothers me about these switches is I'm always worried I'm going to accidentally bump them while I'm working on them. So I'm tempted to like just put a drop of hot glue or tape over them, you know, just so I don't accidentally move the switches. And then the other one is down here. And this one tells you where you're getting your power from. So if it's set to V2, then the board itself is powered from this power connector, which goes back to your power supply. Now, if you flip that up to, to um, what does it say, power EXT, then it's pulling from external power supply, which is this little Phoenix connector right there, okay? Most people power them off the V2 connector. Then up here, uh, we have, you know, the three ports, and it used to be you had three serial outputs. But to be honest, not many people use them. So what do you use a serial output for? If you're talking to, for example, dumb DMX controllers, right? Not many people use dumb DMX controllers. So you use it if you're talking to a Lightarama box. Again, Lightarama is still very popular. All of my Lightarama boxes still work. Uh, but I'm switching over to pixel the things which would come off one of the Phoenix connectors down here um, But you know, it is still useful if you have moving heads you could connect it use it This as a bridge to that if you're um, Using uh, the other thing that's popular is the uh, the wireless DMX 512 controller that you use to control the bracelets, right? So there's a reason for it um, Also, the difference between the V3 and the V4 is the uh, the input connectors are a lot nicer uh, they have little Phoenix connectors, which makes them, um, you know, easier to access. So, and of course, everything else is, is pretty close to the same. But wonderful board. Wonderful board. Now, the Colt boards are really good boards, too. Um, you know, I haven't played with them, but they have an onboard uh, beagle bone. So, um, you know, makes the, the distribution of all the data. Um, you know, you can do some really cool things with that, especially some big, big stuff. Here's a connector for a fan, four pin fan. Um, you know, just a really, really nice board. Um, you know, a lot of ways, still very similar to the, the very first Falcon board that I saw. Uh, David Pitts brought it, I think, to one of the expos. 
and uh, showcase it. And it was like, oh, take my credit card. I got to have, I got to have it. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful board. So highly, highly recommend. And it will scale with you. So you can start off with this, even if you're doing just a little bit, and then you can scale up and up and up. And then, you know, 48 ports will take you a very long way in the hobby. So this is the Falcon F16 V4 V101. And the F16 V4 expansion board. So very good pack. Okay, so that's it for the unboxing of the latest Pixel controller order.